Hello everyone and welcome to another Victoria 2 video. This time it's on the mod Divergences of Darkness, but unlike the last video I did on the mod, this is a different version of the mod, and a version I actually personally like more than the main version of this mod. This version of the mod is, I think, adds way more flavor to the nations, uh, because if you know anything about uh, normal DoD, is that uh, it could be pretty easy, and uh, this mod does a lot to make it make some of the uh, really overpowered nations a little bit less overpowered and a little bit more fun to play. Uh, a nation I really want to play this is japan because i know they did recently like not well, like over a month ago because they recently made an update and uh japan and dod is notoriously way too broken and overpowered and because you already have everything that normally in a normal japan game in like mod like hfm hpm those are your goals like korea is your goal taking taiwan or something's your goal but yeah you already have like the head start and your civil lines so you get like basically like a 30 40 year head start that it's like it's laughable like it's that's why i never actually played japan on dod because like if you look at them you already know they're just overpowered broken but uh this one i'm really interested to see because this one look at this japan starts out fragmented and technically there's some of them are they're still civilized but there's a whole bunch of events that make it hard for japan to expand at the beginning of the game and there's a lot of different paths apparently so i, don't, I probably can't, i can't explain everything there's just so much i always try to explain a bunch of small details in normal videos and if i try to do it in this one like i'm it's i'm gonna go nowhere but anyways we're gonna start japan and uh this is gonna be a whole new experience for all of us so let's just hop in uh, all these events i briefly went over but i don't really know exactly everything so if i do some wrong path or something or I lose, it's, it's, I'm, it's probably gonna happen. I'm probably gonna, like, maybe restart. Possibly, who knows. Uh, but the first thing you may notice is that, uh, you can probably tell, uh, the terrain is really weird in this mod. You know the normal terrain in the default game? Well, basically, times two the terrain difficulty, because half the terrain is, like, defense two. Which is actually great for me, because it means I can- I can- more provinces I can defend on, but less provinces I can attack on. So, I guess it's debatable on whether it's good or not, but we'll see. Uh, we- technically these guys are all for puppets, but you probably know, uh, what's gonna happen to all these puppets. They're probably all gonna, like, kill me. Uh, I have a gripe with the cap- if- a coastal capital not having a port. I really hate when that happens. Like, I want the port to be on the capital so I can make the rally point on the same spot, but- Flies Limit is also really bad in this mod, so don't make your armies too big too quick, because, uh, they're gonna, like, die of attrition. Just- just a warning. And another thing I would like to mention, uh, this is very important. This is something I did not know on my first time playing. Uh, this tech tree, the one that usually is the the one you don't go for at all because it's literally the worst one is now the best one because it gives you 15% research points per every one and then later it gives you 30% so don't miss this one you have to go down this one actually I mean obviously idealism is still important but unlike normal idealism where it gives you the research points this one you have to invent the research points so you have to invent the 15% modifiers that add up to 50 and so it's still important but you kind of have to manage both now also, another thing I just noticed is that uh, Burgundy and Spain actually have little tree ports. But uh, another thing I'd also like to mention, really quickly, the naval system is complete- is a little bit different. And by a little bit different, I mean I literally have no idea how it functions or works because it's so weird. It's like, instead of like normal mods uh, that usually scale the price up, the price of the naval bases are super cheap. Uh, but the problem with that, with them all of the prices being super cheap, is that the boats move at a literal snail's pace. Yeah, you can upgrade your naval bases to 300,000 with like $2, but then your ships move at like 2 kilometers per hour, so... And this mod does have a tax limit, so unfortunately I can't tax everyone 100%. What the hell? What do you mean, not realistic? What do you mean I can't tax people 100%? And also, if you hadn't noticed yet, yep, the, uh, the RGO icons look different. They're, they're more realistic looking. But they also added a few new ones, like, uh, okay, well, there's no examples here, but they also added a few new ones, like sugar. Yeah, here's one. Sugar. Sugar's now in the game. Lead. And copper as well. They added copper in this game. And even spices. That's right, there's spices in the game too, so. Produced goods, there's a few different new ones. There's just bronze, there's also, uh, where's, horses, yeah, you, there's horses actually matter in this game. Uh, except the one, the one problem with horses in this mod I will mention is that only build one horse factory. Because if you build 
one, you have to subsidize this factory too because it will not make money. But you need horses. So you need to have at least one in your country, but don't build more than one. And if you see other people producing them like the Zungor Kana, you're like, wait, how are they producing this industrial good? Well, that's because some nations start with horses, but eventually these horse provinces become wastelands. So don't depend on the RGO horse provinces for your horses. Oh yeah, gunpowder's in this in this mod. That's a thing. And you can actually there's actually different factories for small arms and artillery, depending on what stage of the game you're in and there's also a, a rum factory which basically is the same as this one it just uses different rgos same for uh for uh, fabric you can produce fabric with, with wool in this game that's right you know the most useless rgo in normal victoria 2 is now an rgo that's actually good and can actually be useful so basically the lore of this mod is that this guy was crippled in a failed assassination attempt and now he just doesn't really want to rule and abdication is really complicated in Japan and then there's a whole bunch of people that want to take the throne or whatever. Kind of, it kind of sounds like it's going to be like a conflict or something maybe. And uh, yeah, a lot of this, all these different things, basically all these things means path one, path two, path three, or path four. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what path we choose. I don't know what path I'm going to choose. Also, you definitely want to build as much stuff as you can because they're going to disappear quick. Oh yeah, we own Alaska too, I forgot. Our most prized possession. Also, these guys, instead of being calling uh, the Ainu or whatever, now they're called the Kang... Uh, the Kanakawanga... The, the, the Kanakagawa. Okay, there we go. We said it correctly. Oh shit. Well, the mod just crashed. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to... No, 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 okay. Okay, another thing about this mod is that there's a population birth rate event which is completely random so you could either get completely screwed over with shitty population growth modifiers or you can get lucky uh, i got unlucky this time okay so build up your army basically and we're actually making some pretty good money so i guess we don't have to lower this all the way we could raise at least 30 percent so basically a dude from uh japan was like okay uh let me killed the chinku and then they died and then he was exiled then he explored everything in europe or something now he's like oh we have to build up a military or something uh that's interesting wonder what's gonna happen there i see what they did here so you know how normally the straight crossing is from nah uh, from like here to like here or here to here well uh the mod developers are very crafty and were like hmm what if you make the crossing here where the Spanish province is owned. That way you can't move your troops. God, I, I love, I love, I love this so much. I, why couldn't they just make it easy? Why does it gotta be like, oh, I gotta send my navy. Oh, if you thought I was joking about the speed of the ships. No, I was not joking about the speed of the ships. And another cool thing about playing Japan with a bunch of these dudes is that we get all their, we get a vassal swarm basically. And we are more of the uh, these guys, but they can't get to us because they're landlocked. So good luck with on that. And this is a forward defense province. No way I'm attacking that. So I th what I'm going to do is going to be called professional move. Oh, here's another event. And we're actually going to want this one. And we're going to take this guy, send him out of there. And uh, yep, there we go. And boom, save the day. And like I said, all the Chinese armies disintegrate like butter. Look at that. Their org disintegrated so quick, it wasn't even funny. Oh, they're giving up. Yeah, we're just gonna give up with that, because I don't want to lose any more brigades. And boom, the Japanese colonial empire has already expanded. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll make an, we'll establish protectorate. Uh, we actually got really lucky in the first CB, so let's see how this one goes. Another conquest for the Japanese empire. I'm sorry, but I want your gold. <laughs> Japan has fully conquered this region of the world. We're all good. I'm getting so lucky right now. That's the second time in a row. I've gotten no... I'm telling you, this mod is hard. I'm just getting insanely lucky for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. More territory annexed by us. I mean, we, we're just on a rampage. We can just keep We can just keep going, honestly. Like, it's just... It's never gonna end. I mean, look how fast it is. Like, I, like by the time I even move my ships over there, the seat, it's gonna be done. I just got... I just got... Four free in a row. I mean, I know it's really quick. It's the reason why it's I'm not I'm getting lucky is because it's so quick. This time I am going to going to actually add a wargle because I think I can. 
And we'll build some we'll build some pretty good stuff here. We'll build a port there. And we'll build a port in camp pots. And boom, I mean look at that. I mean I could go for Vietnam too. I just gotta send some more brigades over here to make sure that I don't die. Okay, does does this little region in Belgium really have to be its own state? If they can't make Beng if they can make Bengal two states. They can make Belgium two states, okay? Does it really need four states in this mod? I mean, I know in normal it's two states, but in this mod it's four. They made Belgium a four-state province, which is why, like, Burgundy usually is number one producer, because look at this. They get, like, they're, like, cheating. Look at the hell, look at this. I always hate this. I, I hate what they did to Burgundy in this mod. They, like, they made it so, like, every region is, like, a coastal region. Like, look, look at the, look at, like, the, I mean, come on. They did that purposely. I know they did that purposely. And then look how ridiculous this is. Come on. They made that a coastal province. I mean, what? Like, they get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They get seven. <laughs> they get seven ports from this little coastline. Mean meanwhile, you go over to, like, I don't know, like, the U.S. Where, like, you think, oh, yeah, the U.S. definitely has more coastline. And then, like, you realize... They can build they can build the same amount of ports. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the worst part about Plantagenia, if you didn't know this, is that the port gets built on Bermuda, so it's not a connected port. I, I love this game. P please, please remove the port from Bermuda. Please put the port over here. Please to God. I why? Why is it here? Put them in the right spot. I, I want I want it on the actual mainland so I can build more dreadnoughts. Okay, I'm I'm done with ranting about the state sizes and and I, the thing that sucks is that I already I already know from screenshots that in Victoria three, the map looks very ear the states look very eerily similar to Victoria two vanilla state regions, which I am not really I am not a big fan of. Uh, I was hoping they would be a little bit more faithful to historical accuracy, but uh, I know it's not the focus of the game. But I, I that stuff like our modern borders for something where the modern borders didn't exist yet it hurts my brain. I don't like I don't like seeing it. I still can't research any of this. So we're still just gonna go for this one. Hopefully, yep, we're gonna get another 15% research points from that, which will boost that up again. Uh holy sh is this supposed to happen? I hope that doesn't uh they actually might break free on that'll be so I don't will that mess up the events? I don't think I've ever Wait. Oh wait, I don't I don't think is that cheating? Hold on, is that cheating? That's that's that has to be cheating. I can wait. I can restore order. It feels like I'm cheating if I do that though. I'm, I swear to God, if a Burmese army comes out of thin air there, I'm gonna be so mad. And we're gonna attack him in Hugh because he was actually a better province to attack. Okay, we almost actually. Oh, oh my God! How I am almost right when it comes to this stuff. I knew it too. I knew it too. I just had a feeling they were gonna be right, like standing right there. I was right. Uh, okay, they're. Oh, that's a lot of brigades. Are they gonna be tempted to attack me? Problem is, I is I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the stupid wrong, the, the, the wrong empire, <laughs> wrong empire is is the war leader in terms of the name and the situation I'm in. Okay, this. Okay, yes, there we go. Okay, okay. Oh shit, they kind of they remain intact pretty much. Come on, attack this province. I'm making it so tempting. Okay, they have like 60 brigades again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, they're getting destroyed. Oh yes. Okay, we're we're going in now. We're going in now. Oh, there we go. They will accept that, and that's fine by me, cause I get all of this stuff. Ooh, that looks so good. Uh oh, the Osaka incident. Oh my bad, dual monarchy. Sorry that I did something, I guess. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna do this, because I think that's gonna... Okay, never mind, this is what we wanna do. I don't care that we lose machines, we need open borders, because, uh, I, I don't- I wanna research stuff. <laughs> I never click this, because it's so dumb. Uh, unless this mod changed the RGO in that region. Nope, they didn't. Oh, and it's even worse in this mod, because this is the only iron province in Japan, too. I I hate this d d decision. Why would you ever want to change your only iron province to a fruit province? This is like an idiot button. You, even in that even in that one, there's a... Hold on. Spider. Spider! <laughs> oh, get the hell out of here. You're dead. Okay, let's go. Declare war, restore order. For Japan. For glory. There we go. We did it. Quickly take this one before they mobilize that. That was quick. That was quick and easy. So I guess those rebels weren't the worst thing, because now I get to double my uh, core population. I mean, look at that. Unless an event happens, 
uh, that makes them a uh, puppet again, which honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they added that. I, I'm sorry if you guys were not satisfied with my Omega reactionary roleplay. Look, I, I want to actually play the game and have fun, so we're doing this one. I'm sorry. I, I want to actually research stuff, and oh my god, look at that one research point. RNG is on our side. We went from having the negative modifier to getting the best one you can get, the 0 0.03. So our population is going to explode in the next few years. Ooh, looks like Poland collapsed this game. Sometimes they do in this mod, sometimes they don't. Normally, they, uh, they, uh, do not survive, or they don't really do that well. This game, they just collapsed really early. Okay, this is making me definitely want to take this more, because I'm scared Spain's gonna, like, do this weird spaghetti stuff. I gotta, I gotta stop that. I can't have that happen. Uh, I could take a tank. Oh, what? <laughs> no! How do they, how are they so fast? What how have they managed to do to make the borders this bad already? I'm beating up Spain for sure this game. They're they're not getting away with this crime. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Isan and make your border look like shit. This is what you this is what you, you're gonna get to Spain, okay? Whoa, Sind. Uh chill out a little bit. Remember how I just said oh Sin's looking pretty big. They just got eaten up immediately. Well, I guess someone in the World Fair, I just decided to just spend three hundred thousand dollars. So I guess that's great. Uh, our money disappears really quick in this game. So hopefully I can eat them. Are you kidding me? Shit, I'm gonna lose. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose great power status now because of that, probably right? Or or not? Did you see that? I I didn't lose any prestige from that. O okay, I guess that's that's fine by me. I guess the game took pity on me because I only get 20 prestige. So uh, yeah, get used to these sounds. Uh, if you've ever played Van Vanilla Victoria 2, you know these sounds well. And if you play modded, you forget these sounds exist, and then you remember the sounds, and then you start hating the sounds. But you know what? We're, it's, we're, we're gonna all suffer together. We're gonna cause some pretty bad border gore. Because if Spain's gonna cause border gore, I'm causing border gore too. Also, it is so loud. Oh my god, it actually hurts. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell, dude? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to lower that. I'm gonna have to lower that. But the thing is, I like the loud clicky sounds, though. But I don't like the loud other sounds. But I don't know how to... F I don't feel like going to the files to remove it. It feels like it's too much. That's... Holy shit, that is so loud. Let me fix that. Yep, you're gonna start hearing that. You're gonna start hearing that in your dreams. Oh my god, another event. Uh, I wonder how many modifiers it's gonna add on me. Oh my. Well, Langham International Code just ended, so... I guess there goes our fun expansion time. No, the wrong empire died. How dare you eating wrong we've got a new problem now and also just don't look at this it looks bad it'll, it'll be it'll fix it unless unless spain takes this if i don't get this and someone else takes it i'm gonna they're, they're my enemy number one i'm going to not only take their colonies but i'm gonna take some land the obama uprising i know that's not what it means but i mean when they when they when they put this as the answer anarchy treason madness thanks obama it feels like it's not talking about the town the new japanese era started and now we finally don't have that awful modifier, which means I can finally research, like, you know, like, idealism and actually get better research. Finally, we're about to experience it, and uh-oh. Uh-oh. And this is where the path changes, so I'm assuming if you do the more negative ones, what happens is that you become, you still stay the absolute monarchy, but this one changes to a parliamentary monarchy, which kind of sucks in this game. It's basically just a republic, but not a republic. But uh, I know a lot of people don't like this, and they're probably going to hate us. Okay. Uh-oh. Ne uh, Neo Shogun is now, now wants to kill us. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to, this is going to be big. Oh my god. The calm before the storm. Now we're now we're this again. Well, now it started. This is extra complicated. Okay, whatever. We'll just we'll just send our guys back in there. Okay. Okay, push them off. Holy shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Now they got nowhere to go. Yep, dead. Okay, I'm going to assume that means we win. Okay, there we go. 
Imperial Sunrise. I guess whatever the hell we enacted didn't matter. I guess I guess every single thing we enacted just doesn't matter. Well, I'll not do that. Let's see what happens. Destroy Joseon. Uh, I guess that triggers an event. Korea have a good navy. Korea has a good navy. Maybe I should have thought this through. Can I break them out? I'm, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna try to break them out. Oh wait, what the hell? They just. Okay, they did that for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but okay, they just they just let me break. They just let me leave. Let's make sure those guys are all in there. Uh, yeah, that was their main fleet. Shit, I can't tell because all they see are horses. That's not really helpful at all. Okay, Japan. I'm not Japan. I'm Japan. Korea is not doing very. Oh, yep. I just I just need my ships to be built, which they're getting built just very slowly. I got I got a good chunk of the army stuck. Let them get all in there. Not yet, not yet. Let's get that guy in there, too. Now we're gonna go in there. Now they're dead. And now you can't reinforce that, unfortunately. Yep, there we go. They're sending everybody on this battle for some reason. Okay, we should be fine, though. Yeah, their, their org is, is really bad. I hate when this happens. There we go. Finally, it took forever. <laughs> they're really good at avoiding... Like a whole bunch of garbage. Korea is now rightfully ours. I don't know what's up. So what happens after this? Do I just stay as this absolute monarchy thing? Or does the parliamentary thing happen still? I, I have no idea. Declare supremacy over Korea. Okay, there we go. Oh, and now uh, Kyoto is now Taikyo. I'm, I'm, I'm also confused. Like, what's the point of doing all that to get like the Japanese parliament thing when you just become the empire again by force there we go vietnam is now annexed oh we already got that there convenient oh okay that's pretty much our industry for now uh that's a pretty good base production actually let's get some uh let's get some paper there we go okay yeah we're, we're pretty good now we're all set okay i'm gonna declare war on uh manchuria i guess and uh take a little bit of a little slice out of them. I think we'll be occupied the capital. They'll, yep, they're already going to give up. Perfect. Can I take anything else? No, I can't. We're going to lower funding, obviously. Not too much, though, because if there's a revolt, we're going to be screwed. Okay, that should be good enough. Uh-oh. This is what I mean, like, the, the game, like, knows when you do this stuff. Like, how did they know I was going to, um, like, oh my god. Why are they so good at knowing this? I, I hate it so much. How did they know I was going to lower my military funding at the exact time? Oh my god, and they're so- they're so low of org, I can't- I, I can't even re- I can't even re-attack. That, that's how bad the org is. I legitimately can't re-attack that. It's just- that's just- the org is so bad. Okay, we're gonna try to invade China and take Formosa, which is actually the only one we can take. Uh, which is the one I wanted, so that's perfectly fine by me. Obviously, Formosa's rifle Japanese claim. Okay, let's just do it. Let's do a full assault. Assault. There we go. Boom, that was a nice easy stack wipe right there. Yay, Formosa is now ours. Oh, and now we can establish the uh, the shrine, I guess. Cool. Out of all the places, we're the one? We're the one. Literally, probably the most reactionary place uh, in the world in, in this alternate timeline. <laughs> There's a few different things I can do now, including this one. There's definitely one I'm gonna have to wait to use, because that's 20 infamy. And the Mongolian Protectorate. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> we just made a big puppet. Uh, it'd be, it'd be interesting if I can annex this later. I can do the same thing to Australia, Australia and China, too. I can change my national value to either dominion or supremacy which i don't think i want this because that doesn't look like it's gonna do too much to help me this at least does something it's not that great but i guess it does help with uh it actually does decrease war exhaustion that's actually not that bad i'll go for that so another thing about this mod uh is that there's a new ideology thing that's called separatism uh, where is it right here separatist and this is this is probably the worst possible ideology your population can believe in because it has no political party and also if too many people become said this you literally will not be able to pass any reforms so if your upper house is filled with too many separatists it could be it could get pretty bad for you this mod makes it so it's realistic Ooh, what do you mean i can't cross water <laughs> meanwhile you can you can do this, but if you look at if you look at the pop map mode in Europe, you can see like you know most of the major cities, you know, huge population, huge population, and then you look at me, and then 
then you notice, you notice I have 1.43 million pops in uh, Kyoto in 1878. That feels a bit broken. Hmm, apparently I can purchase Brunei? Will Spain even accept that? I mean, they just annexed that. I mean, I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> Whatever. Damn. Really, they just let me... Wow, they just... <laughs> I thought it was just, I thought it was straight up just Brunei. They just let me take the whole thing. What you're about to see is really gross, but I mean, extremely based. I can just keep going. They have a flavor event for doing this. I can I actually can't believe they have a flavor event. If you actually expand this far, you actually can take this for, without having to colonize it. That That is insane. Wait, we can prepare? We're getting cores? Finally, oh my god, it took like forever. Finally, enough people decided, let's actually, you know, pass a reform. Oh my, do you see that? That right there is called... I've been... Are you fucking kidding me? Another rebellion? Shit. Oh, never mind, okay. <laughs> now the Civil War is truly over. Remember how at the beginning of the video, how I said... Eventually, you can get negative taxes. This is what I meant. I have to lower my tax revenue to get more money. Oh my god. We gotta kill these- we gotta kill these guys. Quick. Like, super quick. Because this is gonna be a absolute disaster. We have to make sure we have one of every province in every region. Or else it's just not gonna go very well. Oh my god, do you see this? This is ridiculous. How am I gonna hold that? Are you kidding me? More? There's more? I come on, man. Are these guys dead yet? How are they not dead? Uh, although it's not as nearly as big, so this should be way easier. Come on, just die already. Die. Oh my god. Finally, there we go. All now they're all dead. I can already annex Chinku. Right now I can I could already eat them. Like, should I, though? Should I eat them already? Because, like, I don't even know if it's, if I should eat them. And I kind of want to get the secret funny core on them, too. Because maybe that'll help with militancy or whatever. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, if I own this, it's going to be really annoying. Because then I got to worry about all the rebels here. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of angry people. There's a lot of angry people in my country. And it's because I can't, I'm not able to pass that many reforms. And holy shit, I don't know what's going on, but I can't, I can't move. Because it's actually a lot harder to pass reforms in this mod. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I might have with the Separatist thing making it really annoying. It, I, it, the reason why there's so many Rebels now is actually because it restarted the game. So yeah, if you don't want Rebels, don't go to sleep, I guess. And for some reason, Siam is like the most mad. I don't know why, but whenever Siam revolts from me, they they send, they send have the most angry people. Oh, is Spain going to help me? Oh, thank you, Spain. You're helping me. It's actually helping me. Oh my god. Okay, we're, uh, finally gonna do the invasion, uh, but I think I actually kinda messed it up. Because I thought you could do this decision and the annex decision at the same time, but apparently, if you take the, take the core decision, you can't do the other one. I think until after you do this one. So I probably should have just waited and not done this one. I just thought it would be cool to have the core, at least. Oh my god. And it gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Really still can't get, uh, reforms. Like, this is really killing me right now. And I have to, re I have, these guys have to go back now. Oh yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose a colony. Holy shit, I cannot pass reforms. It's, this is just impossible. Like, I'm barely keeping afloat right now. Let's just, let's just accept. God, that was super annoying. Oh my god, I just... Defeated all of them. Okay, okay. Please just die. I'm gonna. Are you fucking kidding me? They actually got that back. I'm actually pissed off at that. Yeah, I'm eating your ass now. Thank God it's still cheap. But if it was that's a civilized nation, that would have been way more annoying. Also, I completely forgot I colonized this too. Cause I was so bored. I had time to do this. At this point, the game is hard. It's harder to actually defeat my own country than the other countries in the game. I feel like if I go past 1920, I'm gonna actually go crazy. And also my computer is really having issues loading this properly. Like, it keeps lag spiking. I can't pass reforms. It's because there's too many of these dudes and there's too many of these guys. If there was only like a weird party that the separate, I kind of wish this wasn't an ideology. So that's the one thing I would fix is I would somehow make it so at least if, if your population is separatist, 
you could still at least pass summer forms under under conditions like let's say like if they are bell i don't know i don't know, even know how this would work in the game files but just make it so you could pass your forms if there's too many separatists or something because it hasn't happened to me yet but i know it and it, it is a problem i hope to god these dudes never rise up please please don't rise up Oh my god. Oh, and they're like the most likely to rise up too. You gotta be serious. I Over the course of invading this one state, I had to worry about killing like rebels from like over here, over here. Like three Korean rebellions in a row. And then some of my own rebellions too. And then my brigade's rebelling against me every five seconds too, which just doesn't help. Uh, it's, it's really annoying. This mod is... I, oh! Oh! Oh, 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 another, another brigade I gotta replace. Oh, how, how interesting. I gotta replace another brigade. Oh, oh another, br another brigade's got, the one I just replaced has to be replaced again. God, I love this game. Uh, but I guess, oh my god, I keep forgetting. Uh, my infamy is still really low, because I don't know what's up with justification speeds in this mod, but they're very weird. I mean, look how fast this is. Like, if I get, it's like so hard to get caught. Like, I guarantee I'm not even going to get caught when I just fire this war. That's how dumb this is. And, oh, shit, yep, there he goes. There's the rebellion. I, I I can't even start the war. I can't even start a singular war. Because my population can't pass a reform. Okay, now we can do this. We can do this now. I think. Please, the god. There will be no more rebels. Also, I don't even know where one of them one of them's gone. I, I, need to, I, need, I need to do something. And, yep, they give up. Uh, worst part is I can't even add another war goal because I don't have enough jingoism. Oh no! What well, I could? Uh, the fuck? Okay, normally under normal circumstances, what I would do is be like, okay, let's let's do some of this, you know, get get some pop growth. But now I'm like, I got I, now I I have to do whatever the people want. <laughs> I can't just do like the ones that actually are gonna help me. I mean, this one will still help me, but. I don't need my literacy up that much, uh, which is what makes this worse. Cause I need, I need, if I have the, if I have a reform I can do, I need to use the reform for something good. I want to, I, whatever. We're doing, we're doing that one. I need, I need the people to not be mad at me. I have so much, I have, I have even more militancy. You gotta be serious right now. Oh my god, this is so gross. They, the Spanish, directly took this from Megreb. That is disgusting. I, I'm, I'm so bored. I'm just gonna justify on these dudes. I don't even care if I get fully caught. I. Okay. There we go. These guys are mine now. Now I have another province that needs to be protected very badly. So. Also, this population thing is ridiculous too. Look at this. Just look. Look. It's only 1895 and I already have 2.25 million people here. I can't upgrade my factories fast enough. I don't even have max factories and I can't even build up the factories fast enough to replenish them. If I don't constantly do this, like they're gonna fall behind. I'm gonna get a ton of unemployed people. Whoever made the Japanese sea tiles, like why? Why did they suck so much? It's like the rally points are purposely made annoying. Pro tip for anyone playing in Japan. Uh, basically, don't build any ports on these two provinces. Whatever you do, don't build them here. Because even in pretty much every single mod, they have the, uh, your fork gets destroyed by an earthquake event. Okay, I just found the culprit for why my money keeps dying. And if you look over here, apparently this someone built a bronze factory, uh, in this province that, why don't you take a guess, has no bronze in it. Now, I specifically... Uh, when I had the uh, reactionaries in control and built factories, only built a bronze factory in this province because there actually is bronze. And bronze does help you. You need bronze for some stuff. So you need to build at least one, but only one. And I'm, let me know, let me make this clear. Comper is not very good in this game. Uh, so only build one factory. Even if you have multiple different copper deposits, I maybe in Russia you can build two. Don't even bother building another one, and if you see a capitalist build one, destroy it immediately, or else this is gonna happen. Because I'm gonna gain another- I'm gonna gain 600 bucks. 700 bucks, just from get deleting this factory. Where is the- where is the- where is this province? Oh, here it is. A level 30. See, this is what I hate about this game. This is why you gotta be careful. 
you gotta make sure you 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 make sure all of these are the same it is so annoying when the ai will just randomly do this because if you don't notice it in time and fix it this happens all of these factories should be the ones producing stuff this is a perfect fact this is a perfect province for cement all this other good stuff but nothing got built because some the, the ai decided yeah let's put point let's put a priority thing on this one what a good idea what a great idea and now all these people are gonna be broke G good job game in fact i might actually just just do this straight up like <laughs> i gotta do something like i actually i gotta fix this uh the the whole this 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 problem you gotta notice these things. I was so distracted with all the rebels that I completely ignored the factories for like a good t like decade, and uh, because of that, that I kept accidentally upgrading that, and it resulted in a complete economic collapse almost. <laughs> but yeah, oh look at that! I'm making money all of a sudden. What a what a shocker! I like how as soon as I say like, oh my god, the rebels are getting too bad. Now there's no rebels, and now it's like I'm kind of on edge. It's like. Nothing's nothing now. Nothing's happening, and now I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. And did you see that right there? Yeah, there are submarines in this mod. Are they good? Uh, I have no idea. Wait, actually, hold on one second. They're faster <laughs> than the transport ships. You gotta be serious. I thought like submarines were like super slow. At least like the early submarines were. No, I I no whatever. You know, I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm gonna build 36 submarines. Hmm, my submarine seems very hidden. Hopefully no one will see this big flag that's above it. Finally, we're actually gonna do something. Also, I don't even know when, how long I've had that loan for, but let's repay that. And there we go. That'll be very nice eating these guys. Can I take something? Ooh, I can actually. I just have been lazy and I haven't been able, I haven't really been thinking about it. They would accept that offer and now we have all of this area under our control and that looks way better for borders. That looks so much nicer. Uh, this still looks disgusting though. I really don't like how Burgundy is the same exact color as Scandinavia for some reason. Like, what the hell happened, guys? Like, decide on a color that makes sense, please. I'm okay. I'm joining. I'm joining. This this will be pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna do this. Hopefully, I can get some more score. Come on, I don't even care if, about that. I need some more score though. There we go. Are you serious? That's still not enough. That's still not enough. There we go. This has to be a victory now. I won. Okay, Navy. It's all you. We're about to destroy the- Yeah, get- Yeah, so- Oh, yeah, they're scared. They're scared. Yeah, they, they retreated. They, they're, they're cowards. Oh, yes, come on. Initiate them. Initiate them. Okay, let's go. That- Okay. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so stupid. So the game just refuses to give me a chance to even add a wargle. You gotta be kidding me. I'm blockading. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it took that long to add a wargle. You gotta be kidding me, game. And I guess I could... Well, I could just straight up... I could straight up just steal the colony they just colonized. That would be hilarious. You know, I'm doing that. Simple. Saving and reload is always the solution. Whenever something like stupid like this happens. Like, I clearly have... They clearly have enough war score to piece them out. They're just not doing it, so... We're going to... push them to do that. Be like, okay, you guys... The AI will realize that they're failing, and they'll peace out. Still no. I better have gotten stuff from that. Yes, I got everything from that. There we go, see what I mean? The AI was like, yep, we give up. And I got... Everything I wanted in that war. Anyways, I think I'm gonna actually end the video here, potentially, I don't know. Uh, but just in case I end it here, instead of continuing. Uh, yeah, this is this mod has been pretty fun. It's just like, it's just the rebels can get pretty annoying and if you can't pass reforms. Because sometimes you legitimately can't pass reforms and then it just gets super frustrating. Because you have no way to, you have no way to stop it unless you just, I guess, constantly switch parties. Which, if you switch parties in this game... I mean, you could lose money, like, which is why I was so, like, scared, like, oh, I'm gonna lose all my money. Because uh, it's very easy to lose all your money in this game uh, by switching your party. So you gotta be very careful when you do it. And this mod, money is kind of more important because you can't make infinite money. Because you get a bunch of crappy modifiers that go against you. So you gotta find a balance between 
all of those garbage modifiers and hopefully you can you can at least get some of your population mad enough but like i said the sep the separatist thing is really annoying but yeah if you want to see more of this mod uh, let me know like i, I did kind of kind of was a bit like you know like oh my god this this sucks the rebel sucks at the very end but i mean it kind of cooled down a little bit for some reason i think it's just like i think japan just has a naturally reactionary population and it kind of just sticks through that the entire game because i know if you play as like these guys in europe that doesn't happen as much there's a you were able to pass way more reforms and fix these rebel problems a lot better and anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and goodbye